Hello, 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 hello. Today an interesting problem about free fall time. Suppose we have here a planet or a star with mass capital M. And at a distance r from the center of this, let's say, planet, I release at zero speed a mass little m which is way smaller than capital M. And so it will radially fall in, fall in, and fall in, and fall in, increasing its speed on the way down. And I want you to calculate how much time it takes to go from capital R to a distance R0 from the center. The physics of that problem is relatively easy. Of course you will have to first slice out a little distance dr and then calculate how much time dt it takes to travel that distance dr and then you have to do an integral from capital R to R0. So to set that up is easy. It's not so easy to then execute the integral. In 1979, and I still have my notes from those days, I had a postdoc at MIT and two graduate students. And I wanted to know the free fall time of something that fell onto a neutron star. So I had to do the calculation, including the integral. There was no internet yet that you could get the answer there. So I solved it and I asked, these three people to do the same. And luckily, we all found the same results. The algebra was slightly different, because that depends on how you massage it, but the net result was that our, re our four results were identical. So the good news for me is that in 1979, I was still able <laughs> to do the integral. I don't think I can do it today. That's the way it goes when you get old. <laughs> now, for me to check that your answers are correct, I don't want to see the rather clumsy and complicated outcome of the integral, because you can write that in so many different forms. So therefore, I want some numerical answers. Watch me. We'll take the Earth, which has this mass, it's a good approximation. We take an object, little m, which is five Earth radii away from the center. And this is roughly the radius of the Earth. And I want to know how long it takes for that object to reach the top of the Earth's atmosphere. Because once you get closer to the Earth, of course, you get air drag due to the Earth's atmosphere. And so, the Earth's atmosphere is about 300 kilometers high, very roughly. So our zero is then 6,700 kilometers. So I want to free fall time from 5 Earth radii to 6,700 kilometers. That's question one. And question two is, I want to free fall time from 50 Earth radii to 6,700 kilometers. Please give your answer in hours. Three digit precision is fine. So when I see your answers, I don't have to look at your math. I know immediately whether you have it wrong or whether you don't have it <laughs> right. Whether you have it wrong or whether you have it right. There is a reason why I added the 50 Earth radii. Because I have a surprise for you. And the surprise is that in case that R is much, much larger than R0, there is a very interesting case to solve the problem. So in my solutions, you will definitely see that shortcut solution. But that only works if R is much, much larger 
than R0. Okay? Have a nice day. Take care. And if you cannot do this problem, don't feel bad, because you may get stuck on the math. We will still be friends. <laughs> okay?